What I got here is the new SCADI or SCADI from EOS Tools. This is a GPS or GNSS device, high precision. And the thing that makes this unique <coughs> is the smart handle. So it's like the Arrow 100, 200 and so on, but um, this one picks up all the constellations pretty much that are out there, all the satellites that are out there, but the smart handle helps with your collection. So a nice little handheld that your phone taps into and I'm starting this baby out cold cold as ice and so we'll go ahead and turn on the unit and see how long it takes for us to acquire positioning this can be used with any um, collection service so if you're using it with um, Esri um, field maps uh, subsurface maps um, it can be used with all of it so the main thing is you want to you want to use it um, with the EOS Tools app, and you can download that in the Play Store by doing a little search, EOS, and you have EOS Tools Pro right there. So you download it and open it. I'm just going to go ahead and open it because I already have it downloaded. And then once you open up the app, it starts looking for the Skatey Scatty. It's like, what is a scatty? You got a little, uh, you got a goddess on skis. And I guess that's what she is. She's the goddess of winter or cold. Uh, and uh, anyways, um, hit pair. As soon as it finds it, it's saying, do you want to pair with this? Yes, go ahead and pair. And it's up and running. It's already looking for satellites. It's already trying to pick up all the constellations it can. And you, you can go ahead and from the position view, switch over to the satellite view and you can actually see all the satellites that are in view and which it's got locked on go to your RTK status under RTK status we can go ahead and use the uh, differential um, I already have a bunch of stuff set up there for the Iowa DOT network and we'll go ahead and start streaming right now and now it's getting corrections so we're gonna get down to that centimeter accuracy and it's not just gonna be centimeter accuracy where we're standing it's gonna compensate for the tilt and it also has a laser pointer and so you can stand above a ditch line and take a GPS point to a valve or something that's down below at a safe position from up above by just pointing the laser down to it so now that we have corrections coming through um, we can go back to our status here and let's go over to position so up on the top uh, where it says position you'll see it says smart handle disabled now you can go ahead and click that and enable it, but the cool thing is this trigger does it for you. So if you're out there in the field, ready to go ahead and trigger the smart handle, just hit it three times. And extensible it will now turn on mode. and we are in ex extensible mode. So what extensible mode means is, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see, there's a little green dot on the ground right there. Can you zoom into that, Evan? Get it in your shadow so you can see it. But that little green dot's flashing every second. And you just point that to what you want to take a point on and it's compensating the angle that I'm holding this and also the height I'm holding it and everything to give me a GPS point to where that dot is reflecting. And so it, it really is nice to be able to uh, get in a safe spot and take those positions. But if I hit it three more times, invisible pole mode. it is now in invisible pole mode. So it's acting like there's a pole on this unit, but however you're holding it is how it's going to take it. So it's kind of like a plumb bob is hanging down off of the unit. And doesn't matter if you're tilted this way or that, the plumb bob is going to be straight down and it's going to take a point position right directly underneath this GPS unit. So we can trigger those points to be taken by again just holding in on the on the trigger and it's going to uh, do a point averaging and it's going to bring in the best position possible using field maps, subsurface maps, what have you. So cool little device um, because the smart handle not only um, allows it for the tilt compensation and everything and the laser pointer but it has the battery built into it down here and you can do a hot swap look at this you can take this battery out put another battery in you got about 15 minutes of time to go ahead and get that other battery in and the gps will stay connected and you don't have to worry about um, turning the unit on and acquiring satellites and everything else so i forgot to kind of look to see how long it's been taking us to uh get the positioning that we want but uh we are down to 
let's see we're we got a fixed rtk coming in and we got 0 0.026 meters and i'm pretty close to the building right now but that's pretty darn good so um, but it, yeah if you're looking for an accurate gps device with the nice smart handle to be able to take readings from a little bit of a distance off to the side on top of a pit just give us a call we'll get you some pricing so that is the skaty gold by RTK eos fixed positioning oh yeah 